Hi everybody, it's Honest John. I, I had to laugh when Paul Ryan tried to paint himself as a defender of Medicare. He reminds me of those old Vietnam War generals who used to say that they had to destroy the village in order to save it. Now, they talked about the uh, money that o Obama has quote-unquote taken out of Medicare. Here's the deal with that. Uh, what Obama did was, first of all, he got the hospitals to agree to accept lower payments per patient because under his plan they'll be getting more paying patients so they figured that they could charge less per individual. So uh, that works out. And second of all, uh, Medicare Advantage has turned into a huge boondoggle with uh, not much in the way of benefits, but uh, private insurance companies, again, overcharging their customers. And the Obama plan wants to eliminate that. On the other hand, the Ryan plan is uh, really simple. You're going to get a voucher when you get to reach the age where you would get on Medicare. And then you'll go shopping to the private insurance companies. But since you're elderly, the insurance that you're in, gonna be able to get, uh, the insurance companies are gonna charge you a whole lot for it. Probably a lot more than what the voucher covers. So, you wind up settling for a health insurance plan that's cheaper and really doesn't cover much, so if you do get sick, you'll really be stuck. Or you'll do what most Americans are doing nowadays and just go without. But if you're rich, that voucher will be a really, really nice subsidy for your Cadillac insurance plan. And see, that's what voucher plans are all about. They are designed to subsidize the rich using the tax money of the poor and the middle class. Whether it's education or health care, that's the end result. In education, that, those vouchers are designed for you to subsidize the rich attending their private schools. In healthcare, those vouchers are designed for you to subsidize insurance plans that you can't possibly dream of having. They are not designed to help the poor. They are not designed to help the middle class. They're designed to once again use our tax dollars to help the rich. Now we already pay for their private jets and we already pay for the profits that they get by sending jobs overseas. We subsidize those things. If we let it happen, we will wind up paying for the education and health care of the rich also. Thanks for listening.